Stephanie, how does scoring work? Sure. Hi, everyone. Um, so building upon what Corey and Kat have been talking about um, in a bit more detail, uh, once the project team does upload the required data and information and conducts the occupant surveys for both um, human satisfaction and uh, transportation that's automatically built into the platform, the performance score is generated. That's what we saw in that previous slide um, in the middle. And your project performance data is collected on a rolling basis throughout the year. Um, with the current score uh, being displayed. Uh, so you know in real time how you're tracking and trending. Um, so lead certification purposes, you'll need to define that specific one year time period that you would like performance scores to be calculated um, for when you submit for a certification review. So uh, keep in mind it's a um, 365 day reporting period, which is slightly different than performance periods under previous versions of lead O&M. Uh, but the scores are more than just uh, energy performance or energy usage and, and water usage. We have to certainly weight it um, and correlate it to other key information such as growth area of the project, occupancy, operating hours, and associated rates such as uh, carbon per occupant and carbon per square foot. So therefore, based on these characteristics, uh, the data entered ARC um, projects with similar characteristics uh, of a similar nature, we'll say, uh, naturally associated with one another. And so we see unique space types uh, such as um, data centers, venues, stadiums clustering together uh, given their specific usage and profiles. Um, and also keep in mind that you know, you're being compared to projects that are um, also high performing facilities in pursuit of lead and have employed many best practices um, to further drive those efficiency measures in their facilities. So, if you don't quite see the score that you're expecting, um, you know, know that you are uh, working with and benchmarking with and against uh, other high-performing facilities. So project teams can then understand and based on the indicators that built into the platform as far as what the local average is or the global average, you can make informed decisions on how to improve that score versus lead prescribing those strategies to you.